Hello ducklings, welcome back to Auntie's Castle. Today I have a very special guest, Duckling Maddie Snowflake. What are we gonna do today, Maddie Snowflake? Read a book. Read a book! And it's a silly book. Why is it so silly? Because it's about butts. It's about butts! Butts are everywhere. <laughs> That's so silly. Before we get into it, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any episodes. All right, we should tell them to get cozy, right? Get cozy. Get your stuffies. All right, let's get into it. Butts are everywhere. Are you gonna help me be the page turner? Okay, all right, let's turn the page. Butts are everywhere. Tiny butts, <laughs> big butts, <laughs> smooth butts, prickly butts, Hairy butts, oh my goodness. And wrinkly butts. <laughs> Ew. Every sort of butt you can imagine. Oh my goodness, they're all over. Look, there's a smooth butt and there's a prickly butt. And look, this dog has a wrinkly butt. <laughs> what kind of butt does your dog have? A furry butt. <laughs> furry butt. All right, let's turn the page. Hmm, who has a butt? That's a good question. Who has a butt? Everyone. Everyone! You're right. Moms do, dads do, brothers and sisters and grandpappies too. Even your friends have tushies. Look at them, they're sliding on their butt. And this kid has his butt crack showing. Oh my goodness, look at him. His butt's hanging out. But you know that already. What you may not know is that butts have many names. Can you think of another name for a butt? Tushy. Tushy, you're right. Here's all the names. Cakes, bum bum, lunches, never heard of that. A booty, a can, a rump, hams, derriere, a tush, a rear, a backside. Oh my goodness, what's going on? A bum, a patootie, a dupa, a caboose, a hiney, bips, never heard of that. Britches, hindquarters, cheeks, bottom buns, and keister. Oh so many names for butts. Oh, it's your job to turn the page. Buttocks is a scientific name for your backside. Oh, your biggest muscle is your butt. Did you know that? I didn't know that either. All right, next page. Every great human in the history of the world had a tush. They come in every size and color. So they use all these famous people with their booties. Basketball players, sumo wrestler, even Shakespeare had a butt. Your behind is right behind you. If you don't see yours, you might be sitting on it. You're sitting on your butt. Hineys are very useful. They're not just silly words to crack jokes about. Cheeks make wonderful seats. Whether you're riding a bike, or reading a book, or creating a masterpiece, your butt cheeks give you the soft, cushy padding you need to sit comfortably. Yeah, are you comfortable? Yeah, it's making it soft for you. The muscles in your pompies are powerful. Your gluteus maximus will propel you into the air if you jump and your buns will catch you if you fall. No matter how you swing it, your caboose has your back. That's it, your butt's your best friend. <laughs> but humans are not the only ones with buns. Nature is full of them. Some animal dupas are enormous. They can smush you flat if you aren't careful. Others you can barely see. Animal tutors can be hairy, like your dog. Colorful, prickly, cuddly, and downright lovable. Hmm, maybe your dog has a lovable butt. <laughs> Some animals have hindquarters that aren't butts. Dolphins, worms, jellies, whales, they're in the no butt club. If a blue whale had a keister, it would be the biggest booty on earth land or sea. Animals use their rears in many strange and interesting ways. They use it to get to know each other. Look at them sniffing their butts. What if we walked up and sniffed each other's butts? <laughs> that would be so weird. They use it to sleep. Oh my goodness, this giraffe is using its butt as a pillow. What? <laughs> they use their butts to breathe? That is 
Silly. Fun fact, manatees toot from their tooches to help them swim faster. Wow, that's a pretty useful butt. I saw manatees before. You did? Were they friendly? Oh, cute. What, did you see it using its booty to swim faster? <laughs> well, apparently that happens. Another fun fact, I toot, you toot, you toot. Mm -hmm. Old ladies at tea parties toot. We all toot. It's science. Our patooties are quite the toosters. Look at all these people mm -hmm. farting at the mm -hmm. tea party. That is silly. She's got to cover her nose. There's so many toots. Every fart cannon has a distinct sound. Some hum softly and some ka-poof. Loud and proud. Mm -hmm. Do you toot quietly or you toot loud? Both. Both. Good. Yeah, sometimes there's a mixture, right? Believe me when I say a pigu can turn into a pigu really fast. But do not fear, it's perfectly natural and healthy for your hands to oink. Just remember to say, excuse me. See, he's tooting, but he's saying, excuse me. There are billions of bum bums on our grand planet. More bum bums than you or I could ever count. There's so many, all oh, the booties. And it doesn't matter if your backside is round, pointy, tiny, huge, prickly, hairy, loud, purple, pink, or some curious mix of every color. Your keister, your dupe ball, your wonderful can is perfect and as unique as you are. Just like you, your butt is awesome. Look at him and his awesome butt. Everybody's high five in his butt. <laughs> the end. Oh my goodness, there's a little butt on the back. Look at that little naked baby butt. That was silly. What'd you think of that book? And I on the last page for the party. The party page, I saw the same person. <gasps> that baby, he's there again with his naked booty. That book was so silly, but everybody has a butt. They're everywhere, apparently. All right, that's it for today, ducklings. Everybody say thank you to Duckling Maddie Snowflake. Thank you for coming to my castle. Did you have so much fun? All right, before you go, make sure you like the video and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time at Auntie's Castle. Bye.